Did you watch their game against Manchester United? What do you take from that? I didn't know. No. It's kind of ruined your question. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Well, what do you take from them this season? I mean, they're obviously leading the way at the moment ahead of Man City, which is incredible, really, when you consider it. Um, perhaps not as free-flowing as they were last season, but they seem a lot harder to break down defensively, don't they? Yeah, I think they've been solid, you know, especially more at the back this season. Um, last season, there was always a threat, you know, always a threat going forward with the players they have, the pace, the power. Obviously, Salah, Mane, Firmino, all the players they can bring in. You've got Robertson bombing down sort of left-back. I mean, I did see a quote from the game. Um, Marino saying he's tired of watching Robertson run up and down, up and down, up and down. And that's that's the reality of it. You know, we've got that coming and... Um, we just need to work, work work our socks off to match them and, and sort of stay compact and hopefully we can nullify the threats they do have. But, you know, we, we know under no illusions that it's going to be a really, really tough game. And Liverpool are a team that are exciting to watch and I think everyone appreciates that, you know, and it's going to be a tough game. As a centre-half as well, what do you make of Van Dijk? For me, I think he's brilliant. You know, I first come across him um, when he was at Southampton really well and at Celtic, obviously, it's him. But we had Gary Hooper, obviously, at Norwich when I was there and... There was a little bit of talk of him coming, you know, people trying to say, why is he not coming down to England? And obviously there was a little bit of talk of Norwich getting him, trying to get him. And, you know, you'd say to Hoops like, oh, you know, what's he like? Because there's always a bit of a a question, you know, he's obviously playing at Celtic, playing in Scotland. Uh, how how would he deal with it when he come down here? And phew, Hoops used to say, yeah, he's, he's, he's a real deal, you know? Um, and I think everyone's sort of seen that now. I mean, when you see him live, the way he gets through games, phew, it's, you're, you're kind of in awe of the way he does it, you know, he looks like he's not moving and every, he's got everything, everything and he's a brilliant player, you know, he's probably one of the informed players in, in the Premier League, you know, one of the best defenders in there now. You mentioned Norwich, you might not thank me for reminding you, but you have faced Liverpool before, haven't you? Hopefully different yeah, this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few times. It was never, um, it was like a bogey game really for us, you know, and at the time, as I said, they had they had some unbelievable players, obviously with Suarez, Sturridge, and there was all linking up with Sterling as well. And it was always one of the games, you know, you just found really, really tough the, the sort of the attacking threat and the flair they had. It was just it was hard to deal with, you know, and it's it was it's just turned into be one of them games where you thought, not these again, you know what I mean? And and you sort of you go one 0 down, two 0 down, you just think to yourself. But as I said, you know, that's that's sort of in the past and as I said, we've got a different Different team, obviously, here now. Um, I've never had the results against the other top six that, that we've got this season, so hopefully we'll go out there and get that again. And just finally, with this unbeaten run that you're on, if you can get a positive result, where does this sort of leave you as we approach the new year period? Uh, it, puts us in, it puts us in a good place, you know. I mean, the, f the three wins were massive for us. You know, taking nine points as quick as we did was, was a massive, massive thing. And you look at the table now and it's not something that you want to pay too much attention to, um, but you're trying to create that gap, you know, and trying to get where we want to be as quick as we can. And um, we're on the way to doing that, you know, and, but we've got to sort of realise the situation, understand how hard it's going to be, you know. As you said, we're on the, we was on the back of sort of six without winning. And that's, that's a reality of the Premier League, you know. You, you can go through them, them spells, you know, when you're playing against the top, top teams. Every week is tough. And we found that, you know, we played Huddersfield, we played Cardiff. Team, teams, what people maybe thought this would be a bit easier, they turn out to be our hardest games. So you can't look in too much into the future and sort of and think, oh, this is where we're going to pick up our points because it doesn't work like that. You know, we picked, as you said, we picked up our points against teams that you probably wouldn't think we would. And uh, we're, as I said, yeah, we're under no illusions that it's going to be tough, but we're going to keep working hard and hopefully that can take us where we do want to be.